Today I'm going to cover how to wire a capacitor. I have here a 3 farad Blue Royal Pyramid Capacitor. It was cheap. I bought it on Amazon. So they're really easy to hook up. You basically just take the power wire coming from your battery to your amp, you cut it somewhere and hook it to the positive on your capacitor. There's a little plus and minus in the plastic. They're kind of hard to see. But you just take the wire coming from your battery, goes through your grommet, up into your battery. You just take that line, you figure out where you're going to put your capacitor, then you cut your wire to length, and you put on your little spades places, ring terminals, whatever. It's it's best to solder these on, but you can crimp them if you want. These ones are crimped, but soldering's better. You take a ground, and you run it to your ground. You can hook it to your amp or to a ground and hook another wire from your ground on your amp to your ground on your car. I've heard that running separate grounds is better, but I'm not sure. I ran it like this for a while and it was fine. When you buy your capacitor, it'll come with like a resistor or a light to charge it. I've never really charged it, but a lot of people say it's good to charge it. And I finally, hey look, my cat. I finally figured out, someone kind of explained it nicely. It's because when you first when you first hook up your capacitor, it's gonna it has such a great current draw that it could blow your fuses or put enough strain on your electrical system that it could damage something. But by adding in the light bulb, it slows down the flow of electricity, so it's not as much of a dead short when you first hook it up. So that's why you should charge your capacitor first. It's also better for your equipment. Stupid cat. So this is just a little wiring diagram on how you can wire it with separate grounds. And this is a diagram on how I had it done. You can do it either way. It worked fine. Thanks for watching, guys.